Mr. Coleman. This, uh, I think you can go back and check the tapes. I think that this building, the original appraisal or something, he came out with a 450,000, thought that might be a little low, and then it came back with, uh, the appraisal came in at 750, that was high, the guy wanted 450 in the, in the beginning, it was always about lettuce, and then there was a Julius Caesar thing came up, and Mike Thompson was uh, the Julius Caesar guy. Oh shit. <gasps> we, we know- Don't stand we, there and lie. Don't stand there and lie. We, we know Don't that you were the vice president of Florida Grows. We know that the confidentiality agreement Amen. was done be, when you were when you were still on Henry. all of that. We Henry. know all about this stuff. Henry, if you- Mr. Mr. Henry, if you will please keep your comments to the topic at hand, which is what? reallocating the money for the building what i'm trying what i'm trying to say is this is this classic bait and switch that happens all the time that was a back pocket that was a back pocket secret eda spec building for a mysterious project in his back pocket that nobody knows about except him He's carried on the books for a couple of years on a million bucks. Nobody knows about what it is. It's in the back pocket. Now he's going to reallocate that. He had that money set aside someplace in his back pocket. He's going to take that money now and he's going to put it over here to try to fix something. Because what happened on this guy here that doesn't want to know him is that was, that building was bought for Julius Caesar and a lettuce thing that fell apart. That's what happened. He's right. Samuels is right. It was a lettuce building. It's an ag building. Now, it's not an ag building. Now we think Rick Knight, Rick Knight's son, nephew, cousin, whatever, they're the people who want to go into that building. That building is not set up. It's an ag building. It's a pole barn. It's got to be reskinned parking lot, code, fire suppression, it's a mess. Now you, so you can pay 750,000 or whatever is probably worth a half a million or less because it's a mess. You gotta redo it, a million bucks. Final comment, Mr. Coleman. And then, and then he's already talking lease to own. That's the game. You take all the risk, you spend all the money, you get them set up, you give them two, three, four, five years of free rent, and then you let them take all that rent as credit towards purchase price of the building and give them nine acres. That's the game in Hardy County. PF man, Thank all you. of these buildings are Thank done you the same way.